Welcome students. The topic for today is dimensional analysis. Let us see how can we use dimensional analysis to find the dimension of any unknown quantities in a given equation. For example, suppose we had given an equation V is equal to A plus BT plus CT square. V is equal to A plus BT plus CT square where V is velocity velocity T is time but in this equation A, B and C are unknown quantities for S and we are asked to calculate the dimension of these unknown quantities a, B and C as given in the equation. So let us see how can we use dimensional analysis for this. We had learned already about principle of homogeneity. According to the principle of homogeneity, the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation should have the same dimension. Which means as per the equation, on my left hand side I have velocity and on my right hand side it is a combination of three terms but the dimension of all these terms should be equal to the dimension of velocities again we had discussed in principle of homogeneity we can add or subtract physical quantities only if they have same dimensions so keeping these two points in mind, let us calculate the dimensions of A, B and C. So let us start. We know V is velocity which is given on the left hand side as velocity. And velocity is equal to displacement by time. And displacement has the dimension of length and time has got dimension t. So the dimension for velocity is L t raised to minus 1. t will go to the numerator and that is how I got the dimension for velocity as L t raised to minus 1. As we discussed, the left hand side of the equation has got the dimension L t raised to minus 1. So according to the principle of homogeneity, the right hand side, whatever terms we have on the right hand side of the equation should also have the same dimension. Which means dimension of A should be equal to dimension of velocity which is equal to Lt raised to minus 1. Since BT is added to A, BT, the second term, BT also should have the same dimension as A and as that of V, which is LT raised to minus 1. But we are asked to calculate about the dimension of B. Here it is a combined form. The dimension of BT is LT raised to minus 1. From this, we have to calculate what is the dimension for B. So, I am writing it as dimension of B into dimension of T. I am writing like this in square brackets, which is equal to LT raised to minus 1. I need the dimension of B alone. So, I am taking this t to the other side which will make my equation Lt raised to minus 1 by t which is equal to Lt raised to minus 2. So, now I got the dimension for b also. Dimension of a I already got it is Lt raised to minus 1. Now I got the dimension for b which is equal to Lt raised to minus 2. And we are left with one more quantity c. So let us equate the dimension of the third term ct square with the dimension for velocity. So I am writing dimension of ct square is equal to 
dimension of V which is equal to L T raised to minus 1. But what I need is dimension of C. So I am writing dimension of C into T square. Time has got a power of 2 that is why T square is equal to L T raised to minus 1. What we need is dimension of C. So we can take this T square to the other side of the equation which will make dimension of C is equal to L T raised to minus 1 by T square. Thereby we got dimension of C as we have L T raised to minus 1 in the numerator and in denominator we have T square. So when this T square goes to the numerator I will get L T raised to minus 3. So now we found the dimension for the unknown quantities as per the given equation A, B and C. So dimension of A is L T raised to minus 1 that is my equation number 1. Dimension of B is L T raised to minus 2 which is my equation number 2 and dimension of C is L T raised to minus 3 my equation number 3. Thank you.